Hey guys, and welcome to Blog Tip Tuesday, where I share helpful blog tips every single Tuesday. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to submit your URL to Google. Now in last week's video, I showed you how to verify your website in Google Search Console so you can actually get your articles indexed by Google a lot faster and just know what keywords people are using to get to your articles. So if you haven't watched that video yet, make sure you watch that one first and then come back to this one so you can find out how to submit your articles and find out what keywords people are using. Now, when you are submitting a new article to Google, it's called indexing. And basically all you're doing is just making Google aware that you just wrote a new article or you're telling them that you just did a big update to one of your existing articles and you want them to take notice of it and recrawl your website so they can know what new information you have on your articles. Those are the two reasons why you want to index your articles. But remember, if you are not writing your articles in a way for Google to pick them up, they are not going to show up in the search results. That is why I'm always promoting these two resources that I use on every single one of my articles. Just to make sure that I'm implementing the correct strategies when I'm writing my articles so that they will show up in the search results on Google. So I want to put these resources in the description below if you guys haven't had a chance to check these out yet, because there is definitely a method to the madness when you're trying to rank on Google. And just so you know, Indexing your articles in Google Search Console, it is not a requirement just to get your articles to actually rank on Google. Google will eventually scan your website and index your articles automatically. But doing it this way would just allow Google to scan your articles a bit faster. So let me show you how to do it. So if you go right here to Google Search Console, and then you just go right here, go to start now. I'm already signed in, but this is what you would go to. So if you just go right here in the search bar and put in one of the URLs. So I'm gonna go to my website right now just to show you quickly how I would do this. So I'm gonna go to Try and True Mom Jobs. I'm just gonna pick an article for the purpose of this video. And then I'm going to highlight my URL because this is the article that I want to index. So say I did a huge update on this article or this could be a brand new article that I wanna index. So I'm gonna go over here, I copy this URL, I'm gonna go back to Google Search Console, and then I'm going to copy and paste, Control V, and then I'm gonna press Enter. I was gonna say retrieving data from Google Index. It says URL is on Google. So it's saying that it's already on Google, and if I hit a page change, I can request indexing. So I can go ahead right here and click on this, and this is how I can now index this article if I had a big update to it. So this is an example how you can quickly and easily index your articles from your website to Google using Google Search Console. Now, if I were you, I would just make this a standard process every time I publish a new article, I will publish the article and then go to Google Search Console and request my article to get indexed so Google will be aware that I have a brand new article that I want them to crawl so it will start showing up in the search results. Okay, so now that you know how to do that, here is how you can actually find out what keywords people are using to get to your articles. If you have a brand new website, it's going to take some time before you start seeing some information populate in Google Search Console, just because it takes so much time to start ranking in the search results, especially for a brand new website. So just keep that in mind when you're using this tool. Okay, so to find out what keywords people are using to get to your articles, here's how you do it. First, you're gonna go over here to performance, and then I'm gonna go over here, go down to pages, I'm gonna scroll down. I'm not gonna show you guys my top performing articles. I'm gonna just show you one. This is actually a sponsored post that I did. So it doesn't get a lot of SEO traffic. That wasn't the purpose of this article. I just wanna show you what keywords people are using to get to this specific article. Now keep in mind, this article was not SEO optimized or anything, but I'm just showing you this as an example on how you can use this for your website. Now I wanna go right here to the date up here, and I'm just gonna say the last 12 or 16 months just to see if I have anything on here because yet again, this was not optimized for SEO. But if I scroll down over here, so this is the article I wrote. Now I'm going to go simply right here to queries and it's going to show me all the keywords that people have used that have gotten to this article on Google. Now I only have clicks and impressions over here and then I'm gonna go up here and click on average CTR and average position just so I can see all the data in here. So I can see that for conversationally review, I'm getting six clicks, which is not a lot, 41 impressions, the click-through rate is 14.6%, and 
and then the position is 5.8. Now, just so you guys know that there are 10 positions on the first page of Google, so one through 10. So this tells me that I'm about the fifth result that's showing up on Google right now for this keyword conversationally review. And just so you guys know, this information is not always that accurate, but this just does give me a good sense if I'm ranking on the first page or not. So this is just how you can find out all the keywords that you're ranking for on Google for this specific article. Now, just for an example, what I would do is I would go through this list and if I see that I don't have this keyword in my article, I'm going to put it in my article because that will even increase my chances of someone finding my article by using this specific keyword. Now, I hope that makes sense. The same woman who wrote the two eBooks that helped me rank on Google she created a course on how to revamp your articles using Google Search Console. Now it's an ebook that's called Easy SEO Revamp. Now that's how I found out how to actually find what keywords people are using to get to my articles and it has been a game changer. In that e-course, she has some really cool hacks that just really changed the game for me. So about two years ago, Google had this big update and my traffic suffered severely. Keywords that I was bringing for on the first page, they pushed me back to like the third or fourth page. So I had to figure out how to improve my existing articles to get traffic back to my website. So that is why I purchased her Easy SEO Revamp course because I needed to get my traffic back. She definitely simplifies the process of just how to go about knowing what to update to your current articles and how to get them to rank better. So if you are trying to revamp your articles and get better traction on Google, this is something that you definitely want to look into because it has worked extremely well for me. And I will put the links in the description below so you guys can check that out. So that is it for this video. I hope you now know how to index your articles to get them to show up on Google faster. And I hope you know how to find out what keywords people are using to get to your articles. Remember to definitely check out Debbie's resources on how to just get your articles to rank on Google and how to improve them because they have really worked well for me. Now, if you guys haven't watched my video on my six-figure blog formula, you definitely want to check that out just to see how I built my six-figure website and then how you can too. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss out on the blog tip for this Blog Tip Tuesday series. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.